Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Ready or Not video. In this video, we're going to be discussing changes and improvements coming to Ready or Not. Void Interactive, the creators of Ready or Not, have released a newsletter going into some details as to their plans for AI behavior advancements, mostly focusing here on suspect AI, as well as some other smaller topics like optimization and some audio reverb improvements. Now, the suspect AI is a huge topic for me, and I know it's a little bit controversial as well, seeing as in previous videos that I've released. I know it has been an ongoing discussion with a wide variety of opinions in the community. We've got a portion of the community that heavily likes the idea of the suspects being extremely challenging. We've also got another portion of the community that wants the suspect AI to behave with things like idle animations, more decision making, and less snappy automatic aggressive behavior that we've been seeing with the new 1.0 update. Again, there has been hot fixes here and there, and the debate continues to spiral out of control with those saying the game is too easy now. But at the end of the day, we really just need a difficulty setting like I've stated and many others have stated. But I think these individuals that want a more challenging experience just want the game to be challenging to be challenging. They aren't really thinking about the bigger picture, and I think this is an issue, at least to me I think it's an issue. A lot of us want a more immersive and realistic feel to the game that is supposed to be a SWAT simulation game. The suspects right now just behave super aggressive regardless of their origin, which is a huge issue because we've got suspects that are technically terrorists, we've got suspects that have just made bad decisions and they're just, you know, you know like your basic criminals. They're not just going to be immediately aggressive towards SWAT officers and, and every Every situation. Uh, this guy in custody. Last guy, grab. Yep, got him. Oh, oh, I'm yes, about to die. I'm about to die. Back up, Vic. What the, the hell was that, dude? Did he crawl uh, he underneath? The he crawled fall back. Garage. Fall back. Let the sniper cover us. As much as I love Ready or Not, and I will continue to support the game, I won't sit here and say how great the suspect AI is because it obviously needs improvements. A lot of people do agree with me on this. Either way, the developers have understood our concerns and they will be putting in the effort to advance the current AI. They have mentioned they'd like to implement and improve pre-combat behaviors for suspect AI because as of right now, they are too eager to fight. Like what we were just talking about. It seems every time we come in contact with a suspect, regardless of their origin, they want to kill you. Continue with your mission. Shots fired in the. Oh, hold yep, yep, hold yep, yep, careful, you're both peeking. That is not us. Hey, tight. Hey, tight. Yeah, go on. You good, Savannah? Yeah, go ahead. Down. That's right up top, man. There's another one throwing shots. Oh, Yo, uh, mm -hmm. get up on that door. I'm gonna check this room and then meet you there. Yep. Here, Ethernet, take a couple steps forward so I can get past you or yep. yeah. Alright. He's down. He's down. And from He's down. outside? Including with this, the devs are saying this would also improve the hesitation system, making firefights less predictable. The idea with a system like this is to make players less certain on whether or not a suspect is going to comply going into engagements, while also reducing the immediate firefights that could occur. One other thing they mentioned is that experienced players may currently find that they can identify suspects and whether or not they are complying at a metagame level, whereas these sort of upcoming changes would aim to to make encounters more immersive and harder to readily predict. Previously, they mentioned a while ago that they were implementing an idle system with suspects, taking things like smoke breaks and drinking coffee, leaning on tables, etc. And this was over a year ago in a patch, like, I don't know, at the beginning of last year that they said that they were going to add into the game. And I remember them stating it would be added and we never actually got to see this fully implemented for whatever reason. My question is whether or not this is something similar to what they're trying to to produce here with these types of advancements to the AI. Now they do mention that this is something that is in current discussion and we currently have no idea on whether or not this is something that will be coming in the next big update. I will say I think this is something that should have been looked into and prepared for 1.0. I think many would have been happy with waiting a little bit longer for the big update so we could have a more advanced fully fledged AI for 1.0. But either way it's still good to know that they are taking these things into account and hopefully we will see some improvements in the 
the future with the next big update. A few other things they mentioned in the newsletter. Firstly, they address performance and optimizations. Ford Interactive is very aware that many are displeased with current optimization. I myself can't really say too much. I noticed the game does run a little bit poor in certain areas of the game, even with the 4080, but I know it's pretty severe for some lower end PCs. They are looking into adding scalability settings, which will allow the user to customize graphical features to increase performance. Now this is primarily focused around scaling at distance, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're going at here. Same thing with LODs. They are looking to create 2D LODs for lower end PCs to increase performance. Now, lastly, we're looking to see major improvements with audio, primarily audio reverb improvements. Void Interactive provided a demonstration video showing off their progress with advanced reverb development. I'm going to go ahead and show that video here. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Zach, sound director and composer with Void Interactive. And this week, we have an improvement coming to the Quantum Sound Manager system in a future update that we'd like to showcase. We hope you enjoy. Get down! Hands on your head, now! Down on the ground, move! Down on your goddamn knees, now! Hands up, do it now! LSPD, don't move! Down on the ground, move! Down on the ground, now! Hands up! Down on your knees! Get down! Get down on your knees! Hands up! Drop to your knees! Hands up! Do it now! Get down on your knees! Hands up! Put your hands up! Get down! All right, guys, that is going to be the end of the video right there. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. If you want to check out the newsletter details for yourself, I'll throw a link down below in the description. Thank you so much again, and we will see you in the next one.